crazy crashes, dumb drivers, close calls, and a heavy dose of instant justice. With 20 videos sent to us by the folks who captured them, this episode is action-packed, so buckle up. Alex was five minutes from home on his way back from volleyball practice. Really? Center. Call 911. An oncoming driver turned in front of Alex. Even though he swerved and braked, he couldn't avoid a collision. The impact caused his dash cam to detach from the windshield. Thankfully, Alex sustained no serious injuries and he immediately called 911. The other car spun completely around, impacting Alex's Toyota Venza from the rear as well. Both vehicles were totaled in the wreck. The other driver was cited for failing to yield, and insurance paid Alex 95% of what he'd paid for the car a year earlier. Keith was waiting at a red light when an ambulance began approaching from behind. The drivers next to him decided to carefully run the red light to get out of the way, but not carefully enough. A Chevy SUV was T-boned and spun around by another SUV driver who had proceeded through their own green light unaware of the ambulance. The light then turned green and Keith continued, but he admits he should have returned and given a copy of his footage to the involved drivers. This emitter was doing about 80 miles per hour on I-15, keeping with the flow of traffic in a 70 mile per hour zone. Suddenly, a motorcycle went flying past him before weaving between cars on its way down the interstate. What the biker didn't know is that another vehicle was moving even faster and was catching up. Our submitter was shocked when a Barstow police vehicle raced past him on the shoulder. Whoa! There you go! Get him! Get him! A little further down the road, our submitter passed the police car. This time, it was on the other shoulder with the biker pulled over for a friendly chat. Our submitter drove by with a big smile on his face. He told us, I love instant justice. Mohammed was leaving a parking lot when another driver made a U-turn as he was trying to go around her. Both drivers pulled over and exchanged information and Mohammed told us he is now working through the insurance claim process. This emitter was driving his Mustang Mach-E when he encountered a construction zone. Watch what happened when the driver ahead of him backed up to get out of the way of oncoming traffic. The other driver knocked over a traffic cone, which they then dragged down the road until a police officer directing traffic stopped them. The officer then struggled with it for a while, at first getting it stuck behind the wheel before finally dislodging it. Our submitter was just laughing about the situation the entire time. Carl was driving when a Polestar entered in front of him in a roundabout before turning too shallowly and hitting a curb. The Polestar bounced off the curb a couple of times before the driver regained control and sped away. Rinaldo was driving to work when he saw brake lights ahead, so he instinctively took his foot off the gas. Suddenly, the driver ahead of him slammed on their brakes. The driver ahead of Rinaldo rear-ended the car ahead of them, but Rinaldo was able to stop in time to avoid becoming involved. He watches every episode of Tesla Cam and Dash Cam and wanted to shout out his fiancée, Road. Juma was driving down a highway when a Honda driver blazed past him, evidently not noticing the Michigan State Police car in the far left lane. The cop noticed him, though, and immediately took off in pursuit. Once behind the hasty Honda, he wasted no time pulling it over. Man, I'm loving all the instant justice in this episode. Lane had just finished another day of school. On his way to work, he was going about 35 miles per hour when he was suddenly cut off by a propane truck. Lane floored the brake pedal, skidding to a stop while honking. When he contacted the propane company to report what had happened, they didn't seem to think it was a big deal. Joseph had taken his manual transmission Chevy Cobalt in for an oil change. After an employee moved his car into the shop, they left the car in gear and didn't set the brake.
When another employee had finished filling the oil, they reached in the open window of the car and turned the ignition, sending the car lurching forward and smashing into a toolbox before the engine stalled. The manager told Joseph that there had been a minor bump, but Joseph was shocked when he watched his dash cam footage and learned what had really happened. After he showed the shop owner the footage, they did the right thing and agreed to pay for the 670 US dollars in damage. He also let us know that the shop owner has been really helpful with the whole situation. This emitter was on his way home after getting gas when he noticed traffic slowing down. In his impatience, he made what he admits was a stupid decision to use the center turn lane to reach his upcoming left turn lane. Without warning, a minivan emerged from between other cars, nearly hitting our submitter head on. Both drivers skidded to a stop before the minivan driver continued, waving apologetically. Our submitter told us he was only a teenager back then and his driving has improved a lot since then. He hopes this video will teach others to be patient while driving and not to make unsafe turns across traffic. Mo was driving home from school and was waiting at a traffic light. When it turned green, he started through the intersection before seeing the driver next to him slam on the brakes. Instinctively, he followed suit. It's a good thing he did. A cyclist pulling a trailer, pulling another trailer loaded with another bicycle was running the red light. Startled by traffic, he swerved and the trailers became disconnected. The cyclist then rode off, not returning for the trailers even after Mo had driven around them. By the time Mo came back the next day, the trailers were gone. This submitter was on his way to school when he watched a van get rear-ended by another driver. Our submitter learned that the driver of the car was visually impaired and hadn't seen the van stopping. There were no injuries, but he gave both drivers a copy of his dash cam video. Uh-oh, more cops! This submitter noticed flashing lights behind him and immediately tried to get out of the way. Meanwhile, he watched a deputy up ahead deploy a spike strip. A Honda sped around him in a turn lane, swerving toward the deputy to avoid hitting the spikes before racing off. Our submitter stayed put while several more law enforcement vehicles followed in hot pursuit. The video doesn't show how the pursuit ended or even if the spikes were effective, but our submitter told us that they caught the guy. Joshua was driving past a basketball court where folks were gathering for a weekend game. Suddenly, an oncoming driver began turning across his lane. Joshua couldn't stop in time, so he went up onto the curb to avoid a collision. Thankfully, there was no contact, but Joshua reported the other driver's behavior to the police. Teddy avoided one accident only to get involved in another. He'd been watching an Aston Martin in the exit lane driving with its turn signal on ever since getting on the highway. After keeping an eye on it for a while, Teddy determined the driver had just forgotten to turn off their signal and that it was safe to pass them. Unfortunately, this conclusion was wrong and the SUV swerved into his lane. Teddy swerved into the passing lane to avoid getting hit, but the driver of a blue car in that lane didn't see what was happening and the two vehicles made contact. Both drivers stopped, but the expensive SUV continued on. Since Teddy's car was a rental and he hadn't paid for the extra insurance, he was forced to pay 1300 US dollars to fix the damage. He's only been in the United States for four months and isn't sure if he did the right thing. What do you think? Should he have done something differently? Hayden was driving down I-40 when he ended up behind a construction vehicle. Suddenly, two traffic barrels tumbled off the truck and into the road. Hayden was able to swerve between the barrels, avoiding any impact. That was a close one. Remy sent us another clip. This time, he was headed home with a friend riding shotgun when the driver of a semi-truck turned too wide, nearly hitting his car. When Remy noticed what was about to happen, he quickly backed up to make room for the truck. Good thing he did because the trucker never even slowed down. Remy's friend stayed glued to his phone the whole time. Caesar was on his way home from the gym when he noticed a Nissan Rogue approaching quickly in his rearview mirror. When the car ahead of him slowed down to turn, he swerved to the left to avoid the rapid Rogue.
The Nissan driver hopped the curb, rupturing a tire, but still hit the rear bumper cover of the other car. Caesar stopped and gave them copies of his dash cam footage, and thankfully, nobody was injured. Bogdan was taking a friend home on a dark night and had forgotten to turn on his high beams. Suddenly, he noticed something white appear in the middle of the road. It turned out to be the nose of a horse walking down the road. He didn't even realize what it was until he'd come to a complete stop. If he hadn't been paying attention, who knows what might have happened? 